That says people laugh and think his name is a joke since the outbreak of coronavirus. A new dad who welcomed the baby during the coronavirus pandemic says he has had to show his bank card to disbelieving doctors who thought the surname he had given his son was a joke. Jimmy Corona, that's spelt with a K-O-R-O-N-A, has said he has to take proof of identification everywhere he goes. Even when he attended the birth of his son, as people assume he's pulling a prank when he tells him his surname. Jimmy from Store Content never previously had a problem with his surname. But since the outbreak of coronavirus, his experienced delivery drivers, bar staff, and even doctors failed to take him seriously. The 38-year-old even had to show ID to medics at the birth of his son because they refused to believe baby Corona's name was serious. Jimmy's had people laughing at him in the pulp and deliveries questions as companies ask if his name, which is Polish, is a prank. Jimmy said, Nobody can believe my name is Corona, with the coronavirus pandemic about. People down the pub come up and say they can't believe my name is Corona. Nobody believes me, apart from those that I've known for years. So I show them my bank card or passport to prove that's my name. And it's always been my name. It feels weird hearing my name everywhere. It just feels dead strange hearing your name being said over and over. It's a name that nobody else has got really, not like a Smith or a Davis or a Jones, and now it's all over the news, in all the papers, on the radio every day. It's crazy. Jimmy and his fiancée Lauren welcomed a baby boy during the pandemic, and after naming him Jimmy Joseph Corona, the new dad had to prove the surname was real to disbelieving doctors who assumed his name was a joke. Jimmy plans on marrying Lauren once restrictions ease to allow them to have a wedding and he can't wait for them to become a family of Coronas. The surname is also causing a few issues for Jimmy at work. Delivery drivers have a very hard time believing they have to have all the signed off by a man named Jimmy Corona. Jimmy explains they don't believe them, they ask if they're having a laugh. And my company has to explain, no, that's his name, call him on this number. Thankfully, nobody has refused to do the deliveries, thinking it's a joke, but when they arrive, they do ask if the name is right or if they have heard it wrong. Some people don't believe me to the point that I have to produce identification. It's crazy the amount of effort I have to go through just to prove my name is real. George of Corona was a survivor of the concentration camp in Germany during Second World War. I'm proud of my family history and my grandfather's story who after being rescued in Mayer and Store Contract where he worked in the mines and met grandmother settled down. He's passed away now, God rest this soul, but I wouldn't have this unique surname without him. So I definitely, definitely wouldn't change my name even after all this. Well. Get this. Woman's photo goes viral after friends sport unfortunate reflection in mirror. Corey White shared a picture on Instagram before friends took to the comments to point out the hilarious photo fail. A woman's innocent post on Instagram has gone viral after she failed to sport a very unfortunate reflection in the mirror behind her. Corey White from Falkirk, Scotland Pose for a photo wearing a red dress and standing in front of a mirror at her flat on Saturday night before uploading the snap to social media. But it wasn't until others took a look at the picture and left messages in the comments that the 22 year old Scott realised something was a little off about the image. The mirror behind Corny reflected the back of her ankle and foot to appear in between her legs, which caused some people to double take as they thought it resembled something far more uh, um, inappropriate. Being a great sport and fully embracing the hilarious photo fail, Corny shared the photo on Twitter with the caption, Can I believe I posted this on Insta and someone commented about how it looked like I had a uh, um, in between my legs. 
it racked up more than 23,000 likes and 1,200 retreats as it left other users in hysterics. Some still couldn't work out what the reflection actually was. As Corey replied to inform them, it was simply the back of her ankle. One commented, yeah, I spotted it now after about a minute looking. Yeah, they're right. It looks like a big one, all right. A second wrote, Connie should have said, obviously it's funny when you notice the penis, but you're a stunning girl. Well done for sharing this. So many girls wouldn't do so. They'd be too embarrassed. And Connie replied, thank you so much. Too funny not to share. Another added, when you see it, then can't unsee it. Well, insane optical illusion tattoo looks like a giant hole in the back of his head. Tattoo artist Matt Prison took to Instagram to show off his latest piece of art and fans can't wait to see what the eye-bending illusion looks like when it's completed. A tattoo artist has left social media users baffled after inking an incredible optical illusion tattoo on the back of his client's hand. Matt Friesan, who works at the Zion Tattoo Company in Utah, went to no extremes in his latest project with an insane optical illusion for a design for his buddy Ryan. Matt inked a series of thick lines on Ryan's bald head diverting inwards to the back of his skull. And, with the help of some clever shading tricks, Matt managed to make it look like a massive gaping hole. And tattoo fans can't get enough. The picture was originally posted on Instagram back in April, where he has over 65,800 followers. Recently received increased attention. Matt said, I did a crazy thing on my friend Ryan today. You have a lot left to finish on his dome. What do y'all think of a piece like this? One said, dude, literally looks like he has a hole in the back of his head. Holy dick! Good job! Ryan hasn't finished his tattoo journey with Matt just yet. Well! <laughs>